Hello, Packin here. There's uh, a recent allegations that brought to my attention in terms of the blades that was being produced by LGT Store. Now, it has come to my attention by by the name of Dimitri Stock, uh, stating about the NeoPixel damaging his pogo pins. Now, this is a NeoPixel blade that's sixty dollars. Okay. This is a very, very affordable price point. Now, the, you guys are worried about the little holes from this central area where the, where the pixel is. Now, I have here is a TCSS NeoPixel Pogo Pins. And I just pulled out a Pogo Pin from this bag. Now, if I were to put this Pogo Pin, right, into this hole... On this pat on this blade because this is the only good way to demonstrate you put this on top of the hole and guess what it doesn't get stuck because that's the whole point the pogo pins themselves is thick enough so that it doesn't jam itself through the hole unless you want to jam it in a hole but realistically, if you were to put it in the hilt, make sure you sand the area like I did. Even if it feels like it's tight around the area, just sand it down just so that it's easy, easier for you to put it into the hilt and then take it out. You don't just put it in the hilt so much into the stress and twist it over and over again just so, you, so that you can catch the pins. Now the pins that Dimitri has is probably different. And that's the reason why his connector is probably snapped off because his pins are smaller than the other pins. Who knows? But all I know is that if I were to jam this pin onto all the other holes, all right, nope, seems fine with me. I put this over here. Nope, seems fine. Let me do the last one over here. Nope, seems fine with me. So if I were to twist it, I can still twist it. So, yeah, there is there is sometimes that there's a catch. But that's because at this point when you solder the when you solder the pin into the PCB, it will just roll off because the pin itself is rounded. Because remember, this is thick enough where the pin doesn't go into the little hole so yes you know in the new update maybe there's going to be where this hole is going to be filled in but for now it doesn't do that and that's because the tcss pins are rounded which means that every five or seven or eleven pins that you want to put into the you know pixel pogo blade what happens is that it's going to roll off because it is rounded for a reason and thick enough and if you want to test about the, the, the color of the blade, I can demonstrate that for you. All right. This one is a TCSS. This one cost me over $100. Let's just test out the brightness. And what I have here is the Igniter 3 using a TCSS connectors. So let me take this out. Now I'm going to hold the blade because I have no blade retention and I don't want to keep pulling in and out to, for the sake of demonstration. All right, really nice color spectrum. But you get the point. This is a TCSS. Now let's try the NeoPixel. This one dropped. Uh, let's try out this LGT store pixel blade. See, this is it. And I'm putting it into here. Look at that, that's five pins in here. It's more than enough to use for the igniter three. So I jammed it in and look what happens. It is bright.
So if you are complaining about the brightness in a blade, there is no discernible difference. In fact, they're about the same NeoPixel, NeoPixel LEDs as it is on this blade. They just find a way to make it cheaper because they are able to mass market the PCB with the NeoPixel pins in the surrounding strip. And that allows them to manufacture it cheaper rather than they have to order this um, as overseas from different offshore companies. So in terms of brightness, they are relatively the same. No matter how you see it, one LED isn't brighter than the other because they're about the same as, as same SK 2832s. I'm not really sure about the names, but they're about the same LEDs if I were to take this out. And if I look closely between the two LEDs, they are the same. So again, it is not brighter than the other. You can always send it down if you want it to have a nice, even brightness throughout the blade. But keep in mind, this is $60. And now you're complaining about the pogo pins that's being stuck well, is where it is not relatively true because maybe his pins are smaller than the holes, which causes it to jam or his pins is defective. Because keep in mind, the blades are flat and they do their job. That's the whole point of the NeoPixel blade is that it is flat on the side and that the person who is using regular TCSS uh, PCB boards with the pogo pins will not have an issue. Now, if you get it from Dimitri Stock, well, you know, you're, you're talking to a third party person. So again, I hope this answers your question in terms of the blades of the blade choices that you select. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. There's a community of forums that try to, you know, help people out. And, uh, and we wanted to make sure that the, the, the review can reflect on your decision on what blades you want to buy. So again, I hope my honest review is going to help you guys make your own decision on what blades you want to get for your lightsaber. Anyways, this packing, packing, signing off. Have a nice day. May the force be with you and happy new year.